Hello, it's Rosemane. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, I guess I was living in a fantasy world. You know, it's my first Valentine's Day on chemo. And I thought I will be able to get up, go out, and enjoy the world. Even though I know it's Side Effect Friday. <laughs> My plan of spending time with my mom this morning, hopefully having breakfast with her, getting a massage together was canceled. My mom had to make a trip to Georgia, which is completely understandable. Um, so I'll be getting a massage by myself today. I did not leave the house today um, because I have a real bad headache. And on top of that, um, my bowels are not acting the way I would like for them to act today so I don't want to really chance it by going out and enjoying self-love enjoying Valentine's Day enjoying Black History Month <laughs> I don't want a chance going out today so therefore I could constantly keep rushing to go use the restroom I am still gonna get my massage at one o'clock I'm gonna go ahead and do that get my massage and then I'm gonna come back home and rest a little bit. I did try to clean. I won't say I tried, I did clean. I did make myself a smoothie today, so I got at least 24 ounces of liquid in me from my awesome smoothie that I made that had banana, blackberry, blueberry, and pineapples in, in the mix. I did end up doing one load of laundry today, which I realized I don't have the energy that I used to have because those nice size Costco laundry size laundry detergent that's about I think a gallon yeah that's a struggle to pick up now <laughs> so shout out to my mom for doing my laundry and then my boyfriend he does his laundry um, and he throws mine in the mix because yeah, that laundry detergent is mighty heavy for me to start picking up. And I move extremely slow. I decided to somewhat reorganize the kitchen um, as I was moving extremely slow. Taking my sweet time. I mean, I'm not working today, so all I have is time on my side right now. Um, I do believe I have a slight headache because my boyfriend has been tap dancing on my nerve today, the joy of being in a relationship. Um, he would like for us to celebrate Valentine's Day, which is understandable. I think his vision of celebrating is probably completely different from my vision of celebrating, which is probably possible since him and I tend to be on different pages. So he wanted to, he's at work right now. And my eight year old son, um, which is by another guy is at school. So I'm home alone and I'm enjoying this time being home alone, but he wanted to come home and um, bring some, he wanted to bring home Olive Garden. I'm not in the mood for Olive Garden. Um, with the amount of trips I took to the bathroom today, I don't want Olive Garden. I don't even know what I want for the rest of the day. I'm still trying to figure out my life today. <laughs> so when I told him I didn't want Olive Garden, he took, a f I, I guess he took offense to it. I don't know because he's like, oh, then how are we going to celebrate what we're going to do? And I'm like, when I pick up the eight-year-old, um, then I'll grab pizza and there'll be pizza here. And he's on this whole thing that we need to do something together. But I'm more like, we can do something together. I mean, we live together. Like, I'm not going anywhere. I'll be home. I mean, one of the things that I feel like he could, we could probably do together, which is, which would consist of me laying in bed resting while he picks up, like he puts the laundry away. Like he did laundry, I think like a week or two ago. And, um... He has this habit of, I'm going to show it to you, of piling everything on top of this bench. See? There's a green bag over there. There's clothes. There were some clothes here earlier that I already put away. 
that he likes to pile up and don't put away. My energy level is shot. So as a Valentine's Day gift, I would love for him to put those clothes away. And we could do that as a team while I lay in bed and I watch him put the clothes away. And this luggage that is filled with his stuff from a trip that we took a month ago is still laying on the, on the ground. I would love for him to put that away today as a nice Valentine's Day gift. Just put it away. So therefore, when I wake up 101 time in the, middle, in the middle of the night to go use the bathroom, I'm not tripping over it. <sighs> this is not supposed to be a venting session, but I'm just saying. Some people have to see the bigger picture. And maybe I have to see the bigger picture, but we could still spend time with each other and enjoy Valentine's Day together as a team, as a unit, by enjoying the comfort of our home, by enjoying whatever food we have in the fridge, and him putting away the clothes that are piled up. It would be awesome! So, anywho, I am done cleaning for today. I'm done with laundry. I'm done organizing the kitchen. My body aches. I'm tired. <laughs> I am going to get ready to go to this massage. It's almost that time. So I'm going to get ready to go to this massage and see what this oncologist type massage is all about. And hopefully I'm nice and relaxed. I have um, like sage and palo santo that I'll probably be burning throughout the house and bringing that positive energy because I need the positive energy on this day of love, on this day of Valentine's Day. So I'll, if there's anything to talk about regarding this oncologist massage, then I'll get back on later on today and upload a video about my massage but i hope everyone enjoys their valentine's day take the time to love on yourself i'm, I'm a big promoter of self love because if you don't know how to love yourself how are you able to love someone else so enjoy this day fill your heart with self-love love on each other try to be nice to each other and yeah, also wishing everyone a great weekend. Take care.